Hello guys and welcome to XN Gaming Community Guys and Girls. Um this video today is on the MD Gaming Evolved update or Raptor as it's called. I'm not sure what the hell happened with the naming, but you can have download Raptor, you can download MD Gaming Evolved, but they're both the same thing. Just putting that out there. So what's happened basically? Well, I think it was yesterday this was announced. It may, it may have been yesterday. I'd seen it when I was in work and I thought I'd come home and cover it. Basically, AMD has announced their own sort of NVIDIA Shadowplay feature uh, called Game DVR. It's, it does the same thing that Shadowplay does. It records up to 10 minutes of gameplay footage. And honestly, it's just the same thing as Shadowplay. You can upload it, you can save it to your desktop, you can dump it somewhere. It's pretty awesome. Problem is, it doesn't work. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually being serious here. So I'm going to go through my little problem with you because I'm actually going to send this video to AMD to show them what's going on. But my my computer at the moment is an i7 3770K. I've got two AMD 7950s that are made by a company called HIS. Uh, the actual model, uh, what is it, hardware? Um, I don't know if you might want to know any of this. This is here somewhere, I don't know where. Fucking components display. I should be more prepared. I don't know, it says it in there somewhere, it says Ven was it video tech or something like that, I d I don't know. But basically, it's it is a bit broken. And I have been scouring Google looking for a solution to this, but because it was only out yesterday, not many people have been reporting anything like this. I see one comment and the guy said, um, unhandled conditional card, what do I do? I don't know mate. Uh, I've been through the usual troubleshooting steps, restart my PC, restart on AMD Gaming Evolve, turning off SLI, not SLI, sorry, <laughs> Crossfire, but it doesn't seem to be working. So there's that for you, but basically AMD's announced their own shadow play feature, if you update your um, AMD Gaming Evolved, or just turn it off and on, it should automatically update, it's quite good about that. And yeah, it should be there. It, it, it wasn't working for me, the update, in the past couple of hours, but it's just what there, so I don't know, maybe you might have some luck now, if you weren't able to get it before. But the, the, the other news that, that they have, uh, they have redesigned the home screen, usually it would just go straight into the library for some reason, but now in the home screen, you can optimise all of the games on your computer with just one click. I'm not sure if you're able to do that in the library bit, but i never seen it, so that's good, I suppose. Um, you know, each button just takes you to a different bit on the screen. Um, also, I forgot to mention about the uh, bug here. Drivers, it says, look, you have the AMD Catalyst Beta Driver 14.6 up to date. Check for update. Can't detect drivers may not be supposed at this time. Hmm. I think that's why this isn't working either, but there we go. So yeah, the new UI. They've got the record thing here, which is for game DVR. You can edit some options in here, but can't do it yet. Uh, the Twitch function here, so you can broadcast directly. I've set mine to F11. Mute mic, control. I don't know what the hell that is. I never need to mute my mic. It's maybe on all, all, all the time. Settings, custom. You can make you know your settings anything you want. I still need to fix my max bit rate. I should be able to 3000, I think it is. Uh, keep that to 100%, yep. Uh, you can give your stream titles, you can log into your Twitch account, uh, game DVR settings, you know, they have put in quite a lot and you can see that they have tried to make this the best as possibly could. Uh, play, this gives you a recommended game. You can hit the play button, it'll send you to some games that it thinks that, that, that you should play. Snipe, uh, Smite is now free to play, so, and it's a MOBA, same as League of Legends and Dota. So it's that. Uh, it's got the same stuff down here, free to play, not, yeah, it takes you to smite, rewards, it's just little UI improvements that really do go a long way to making MD Evolved quite a nice little feature. So, if you haven't looked at it already, go, go ahead and check out the game DVR function that AMD has released. It, it looks pretty epic and apparently it has no hit on performance. Now I will be doing a comparison video and doing some benchmarks on games using the game DVR function and then disabling it to see what happens because I want to see if I'm able to play games and record games onto the same hard drive. 
if that is possible, then that is pretty damn epic. Because I have, I always offload all my footage onto another hard drive. That way, it doesn't um, make my game slow way way down. It's really bad if you play games and record to the same hard drive. Considering if you've got a good hard drive, but see a Barracuda thing in it. It's pretty bad when it comes to that sort of stuff. So, yeah, go ahead and check it. I'll put a link in the, the description as well as all the other things that they may have added, bug fixes and just basically patch logs. So, you yeah, guys, hope you hope this video taught you something, I suppose. If you want to view your media gallery, just go here, view media gallery, and yeah, it, it's got a picture of my personal license, apparently. Um, you can view your profile and some other stuff that they've added in here, so that, that, that's quite nice. Let's just take that away. Um, so yeah, there you go. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you found this useful. I don't know if you did, I mean, hey, I'm just informing you that AMD um, has a new game DVR function. Not everyone, you know, not everyone reads the news. So thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.